Hey guys, it is Sunday. I am still in the hospital. Surprise! So if I wasn't, I would be going out in body bag. Um, they are not sure what the next steps are, of course, because they're still trying to formulate that. Of course, it being a Sunday does mean that they don't have everybody here because I am not actively hemorrhaging to death and I'm cognizant they say my vitals are amazing which is just kind of funny considering all the madness that's going on in there but again I've always done the correct things you know I've eaten the correct food you know I've tried to keep myself moving I definitely I'm not doing the 10,000 steps a day that was kind of my fault and some of it was kind of resulting from just general laziness I don't have great discipline as we all know um which is why I don't really um do enough of, enough of these, or at least have enough of the stuff that we've actually put up. And it's it's not just discipline. It's like, you know, it's really hard to see your face. It's not like you have body dysmorphia, but it's just one of those things where, you know, do you really want to look at your face and uh, have these conversations? Probably not all the time. But <clears throat> I am still here. I believe that these, well, and of course you want the surgeon to be as well rested as humanly possible because it is Sunday. I want him home. I want him sleeping. This first surgery that I had, they said would be six hours. It was actually 16. Whatever they say for this surgery, they obviously should be aware that it's probably going to take longer. But I just wanted to say a few things just about <clears throat> support and the humanity of people. Now, I didn't have any real intention of telling people that this was happening. My husband put something up, my best friend Francine put something up, and I didn't, I didn't want to bother people. I know this sounds so stupid, of course. Nobody feels bothered, but at the same time, everyone is living their lives, and I'm just trying not to interfere too much, or, you know, just be a source of strife, or uh, just a source of misery, you know? I've always wanted to be somebody that people thought of for being funny, for being joyful, for being silly, you know, and I ended up speaking with um, a few of my friends yesterday about the past and the funny things that we did and just like the hilarity. That was Francis, that was Kristen. We just talked a lot about the crazy stuff that we did when we were younger and it was just, it was nice to do. And I think part of my difficulty in getting healed from this is having no support system. So that's something that everyone should really be aware of. You need a really solid support system to actually really thrive. Now, I did things like I put um, the TV on in the background, like I actually had, you know, human beings there to watch me, like when I was healing at home. You know, of course, Don was there for what he could, but he has a job and he needs to go, you know, and I... I didn't really have anyone that we could call to, you know, help us with food. We did have Patrick and Anna, who we met in the last place that we lived, who showed up a few times once they found out what was going on with their young. These are not the problems that young people want to face. And so, you know, I don't want to burden other people with that. So even with this, I don't have any like direct support besides Dawn, except for Nicole. Nicole was the woman, um, that I met through one of the dog walking apps and we just kind of became friends and she's helped me out a lot and she's gonna be probably the only consistent help that we get just in terms of helping with the dog. But even with that, I'm just, because it, I am like kind of starved for just general attention and humanity, these, these nurses this time are amazing. You know, I mentioned that I broke down in front of that nurse the other day. I have her phone number for when we leave, she wants to go out for lunch. A few of the other nurses have sat down and hugged me, talked to me, you know, we, I've made some friends here, even if, you know, obviously I may not, never see them again um, outside of the confines of the hospital. But support is so huge with these things. And if you don't have any support, it makes it so much more miserable to actually try to go through these things. So that's something that everyone should be aware of. Make sure you have like a strong support system. Obviously with us being far away from everybody, we now you can't really import people. And you know, yes, we have parents and that kind of stuff, but you know, you just really want it to be a calm and peaceful experience when you were actually getting healed. So that's my little ditty on uh, <clears throat> support people, treasuring your friends, 